You're watching South Asia News Line, and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 8th of December. PM Modi inaugurates Global Investor Summit in Uttarakhand. Would like them to face legal systems, says India unwanted terrorists killed in Pakistan. And tug of war continues between India and Maldives over presence of Indian soldiers. And now for all the details, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday inaugurated the Uttarakhand Global Investors Summit 2023 at the Forest Research Institute in Dehradun. The two-day summit aims to promote the hill state as a major investment destination. The Prime Minister also launched the House of Himalayas branch to promote local products and increase the income of self-help groups. It is being attended by more than a thousand investors and delegates from across the country and abroad. PM Modi said today India has policy-driven governance and political stability, exuding confidence that the country will become the third largest economy in the world in his third term. भारत को लेकर ऐसी ही स्वॉट एनालिसिस करें तो क्या पहुंचते हैं? हमें चारों तरफ एस्पिरेशंस, होप सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस इनोवेशन और अपॉर्चुनिटी ही दिखेगी आज देश में पॉलिसी ड्रिवन गवर्नेंस दिखेगी आपको आज पॉलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी के लिए देशवासियों का मजबूत आग्रह दिखेगा आकांक्षी भारत आज अस्थिरता नहीं चाहता वो स्थिर सरकार चाहता है ऑपोजिशन तृणमूल कांग्रेस लीडर महुआ मोइत्रा वॉज डिस्कालीफाइड फ्रॉम द इंडियन पार्लियामेंट ऑन फ्राइडे आफ्टर अ मोशन रिकमेंडिंग हर एक्सपल्शन वॉज अडॉप्टेड इन द लोअर हाउस द एक्शन वॉज टेकन आफ्टर द लोकसभा एथिक्स कमिटीज रिपोर्ट अक्यूज मोइत्रा ऑफ शेयरिंग हर लॉग इन क्रीडेंशियल्स एंड पासवर्ड विद एन अनऑथोराइज पर्सन कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग नेशनल सिक्योरिटी The report alleged the lawmaker accepted bribes from businessman Darshan Hiranandani for asking questions in parliament which benefited his business interest. Moitra, a first-time lawmaker and a vocal critic of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government, has called the bribery accusation baseless and claimed there is no evidence supporting the allegation. Moitra said she has been targeted for questioning the Modi government on the Adani issue. to defense and aerospace the ethics committee which was set up to serve as a moral compass for members instead it has been abused egregiously today to exact to do exactly what it was never meant to do which is to bulldoze the opposition and become another weapon to talk to us into submission this committee and this report has broken every rule in the book in essence you are finding me guilty of breaching a code of ethics that does not exist the committee is punishing me for putting engaging in a practice that is routine accepted and encouraged in the house ma aur ek question un logon se puchna chahta hu jo abhi around 60 65 prashn pucha hai chari sector pe pucha hai ek baar bhi apne lok sabha constituency ke bare mein ek prashn nahi pucha hai one not even one she has asked the question about her constituency ye sab kya kehlata hai ji क्या बात कर रहे हो आपको कम से कम पश्चात आप व्यक्त करके ठीक है गलती हो Reacting to growing string of targeted killings of terrorists wanted by India and Pakistan, spokesperson of India's Foreign Ministry Arindam Bakshi said New Delhi would like those terrorists to come to India and face the legal system in the country itself. His remarks came in the wake of a series of phantom attacks against terrorists who attacked or plotted to attack India in Pakistan. Bakchi however said he cannot comment further as he does not have any extra information I I don't know how to react I don't have a comment on it except for the larger issue is that those who are um, wanted for in India to face justice for criminal and terrorist activities or extremists we would like them to come to India and face uh, our legal system but I cannot comment on developments that have taking place um, 
in Pakistan, I don't have. Meanwhile, when asked about Khalistani terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu's threat of an attack on parliament on or before December 13, Bakchi said that India always takes threats seriously and India has taken up this matter with the US and Canadian authorities. Notably, US has indicted an Indian national accused for involvement in failed assassination attempt on Pannu. Ahead of general elections in Pakistan, Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has intensified his electioneering by insisting that he isn't aware of gate number four politics and that he solely relies on the people to bring his party into power. Addressing a workers' convention, Bilawal said that on one hand there is politics of divide and on the other economic conditions are getting worse in the country. He claimed that he is the only politician whose hands are clean. As the country is gearing up for the elections next year in February, political parties have intensified campaigning. However, former Prime Minister and PTI party chief Imran Khan has been embroiled in a string of court cases and been barred from politics for five years. Moving on, university teachers in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir held a massive protest recently alleging discrimination as they said they are not being given salary hike at par with their counterparts in Pakistan. A report. Scores of university teachers in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir held a massive protest recently to demand promised hike in their salaries. The protesters alleged discrimination and said they are being deprived of a fair hike, while the same raise has already been given to teachers across Pakistan. So, our government has this appeal that in which the rest of the other people वो अपनी अपनी जामियात को वो फंडिंग कर रहे हैं उनको वो बेल आउट ग्रांट्स दे रहे हैं जिसकी वजह से वो अपने मलाजमीन को उन्होंने इजाफा भी दिया है और जो माली बहरान है उस पे भी काबू पाया है तो क्यों नहीं हमारी जो आजाद कश्मीर हुकूमत है वो हमें क्यों नहीं सरपरस्ती हमारी कर दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम गवर्नमेंट वर्कर्स इन पीओके हैव टू ऑफन हिट द स्ट्रीट्स टू डिमांड इवन देयर बेसिक राइट्स व्हिच दे से मीट अ ब्यूरोक्रेटिक ब्लॉकेड at the behest of the political leadership of Pakistan. If you open universities, you can use it as a social media platform. But there is no funding from the government. We don't have any funding from the government. This is a question for us. Days after Maldives' newly elected President Mohamed Moizu claimed reaching an agreement with New Delhi over removal of its military personnel, India has said it will wait for the core group directions before taking any decision. India's Foreign Ministry spokesperson Arindam Bakchi said New Delhi maintains a small strength of military personnel in the island nation to manage the assets provided by India and help in much needed humanitarian assistance and medical evacuation facilities to the people of Maldives. He added India wants to deepen its partnership with Maldives and thus agreed to set up a core group. Let us see how we will be guided, he said. Moizu, who assumed office earlier last month, had campaigned to alter the Maldives' India First policy and promising the removal of a small Indian military presence. However, former President Mohammad Nasheed has warned such actions will not benefit the people of Maldives. A local businessman in India's Jammu has become the talk of the town as he has decided to shift his four-storey home away from its present location instead of demolishing it for a road widening project. Jagmohan Singh said the building is not just made of bricks, concrete and iron but carries the memories of his late wife who died during the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic in 2021. Singh has hired the services of a Haryana-based company to do the job of lifting the house around 160 feet away from the roadside. He said it would cost him around 50 to 60 lakh rupees. अपनी अपनी सोच होती है, लेकिन हम पैसे की बात नहीं है यहाँ पे। यहाँ पे एक किसी की यादें जुड़ी हुई हैं इसके साथ। तो बेटी ये मेरी बेटी है, वो भी कहती है, चलो पापा किसी तरह से होए, मम्मा तो रही नहीं, कम से कम चलो अगर मकान हमारा रहेगा तो इसकी देख के मम्मा को याद तो करते रहें। बाकी अपना अपना जरिया है।